I was beyond thrilled to see this beauty. Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another collective thrift store haul. I've got a great amount of stuff from a combination of different stores. I'm happy to report that I have not been thrifting in over a month, which for some is serious, serious withdrawal. And I must admit, yes, I do have some very serious thrifting withdrawal, but I made a pact to myself that I would A, get this guest room cleaned up, and B, I would try to get caught up on all of my hauls, and I did. This is my last one, and I know I've been putting out a great amount of content, kind of giving you all a weekly schedule. I'm going to try to stick to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos if I can. It might not be as great now because I'm caught up. And yeah, I'm very, very tickled pink about that because that was really getting to me. Just not having a clean space in my bedroom and this room being a junk heap. So the first three items we're going to be looking at are from a place that Jocelyn frequently goes to in Pennsylvania, uh, Finders Keepers. There is one literally within a probably about a five minute drive from my house. I went to it one time and wasn't really impressed with what they had. And that was way before I started doing live sales. So now that I have a bit more of a broader eye, I see a lot more that I can purchase to sell online and in my live sales. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I got. So I did spend, I think, about $30. The most expensive piece, and I, I really don't like that these places take their tags off because I forget how much I paid. But altogether, it was about 30 bucks, and this was the most expensive item. It's a Made in USSR porcelain Eskimo with his Husky um, figurine. It's got the mark right there. I did look him up in the store, and he, someone has one listed right now for 48 and that's not sold, and there are no solds of it, so I'll probably ask maybe a little bit less than that, maybe about $39.99 with best offer. I did pay $11.90, I do remember that. And it was really outdated, and I remember asking the cashier about it, and she said, oh, you know, because of what's going on right now, any inventory that was pre-shutdown was going to be the lowest ticketed price. So I went ahead and took a chance because I did see that one was listed for 48 So I'm going to see how I can do with it. There it is, the mark again. Made in USSR. An Eskimo cuddling his husky. These did really well at my last live sale. The other ones were a little bit more ornate and decorative. They're the Native Americans or the Native Indians in their water moccasins. These ones don't have the Japan sticker, and only one of them has their original stopper. I'll probably put those in the sale again. I'll probably have to ask a little bit more for them because I did pay up for them. But that's just the nature of the beast. I have one more item that I'm going to go ahead and share with you all, but I have to cut the camera off, so I'll be back in just a second. I think this was around $5.60. This is the last item that I picked up at Finders Keepers. And it's this... A uh, handleless pitcher, and it does have a name on it. I haven't looked up the designer just yet to see how desirable his or her things are. But if I'm not mistaken, that's pronounced, or that says Hayfad. It's got a really nice turquoise and gold look to it. it. appears to have very little damage on it. It's not my style per se, but it, I know somebody out there is probably going to really like it. Again, I will do my research, and if it does not come up anything in particularly special, it will be listed for sale, or it will be at a live sale. So that's everything I picked up at Finders Keepers. Let's check out all the thriftage. Paid $3 for this really awesome piece of chalkware. It's got pears on it, and it's on a black, like, birch kind of a thing. Tree bark. Only real issue with it is that the black birch, some of the paint has come off of it, which is, you know, typical of chalkware. You could touch that up with a Sharpie and nobody would really know the difference. So that will be up for sale at a future live sale. 
This was another really interesting find. I just really liked the look of it. It definitely gives me like a mid-century kind of a vibe. Paid $4 for that. And this is the mark on the bottom. It has a C in a circle and it says L. Baitlin and Son, Inc. Now the lid, hold on. There is a big chippy doodle on the lid, but once you put it back into the teapot itself, you're not going to see it. So if this ends up not being worth anything, no big deal because I actually do like it for myself. So the next item we're going to be looking at is something that I think is very, very cool. At first I thought it was nautical until I saw the whip and the bull skull. I paid $1.50 for this. My best guess is this is probably an American bisque planter, because judging by the feet there, that's probably what it is. I did pay a buck fifty if I didn't say that, and it looks like the store that I bought it from was asking eleven fifty originally. Whether somebody thought that was too much and decided no, we're gonna sell it for much cheaper. So I went ahead and picked that up for a buck fifty. I couldn't say no to that. If this wasn't in my planter sale, that means I have kept it. I'm filming this way ahead of schedule because I got behind, as you all know. So this may or may not have been in my planter sale. I was really excited to see these guys, these Goble um, figurines. Actually, they're candle holders. They're marked Goble 1975 on the bottom. Paid $3.75 for them, and much to my dismay, I didn't look hard enough at the thrift store and one of the angel's wings is busted. So I will more than likely be offering this at my, there I go again, will be offering it as if it's in the future. I would have offered these at my Christmas live sale and I'm hoping that they would have sold. This was really interesting, and I've never seen it before. I paid $3 for it. It's an Avon Island Seas Barbados bubble bath. I did try to look it up on eBay, and I could not find it anywhere. I don't know if this was a discontinued thing, and Avon no longer made it. So that's why I went ahead and took my chances and bought it. It's from, I think, 1993. So it's about 27 years old. But if you all happen to remember this, or happen to know if it's a rare product that they just don't make anymore, let me know in the comments below. For $1.50, I picked up this really cute looking dog. He's looking up into the uh, sky there. It looks like he wants to howl. No markings on him to say who he was made by. I would assume he's probably a Japanese import. But he's just real cute, and he will definitely be at a future live sale, because we all love our animals. For $2, I picked up this really neat looking lady planter. As you can see, she's got crazing and she's got paint loss and stuff all over her. But she's still really, really cool. She will already have been sold, hopefully, by the time you see this video. But possibilities are endless with these old planters. I mean, if you wanted to put this in a spring um, vignette, you could put... Um, chocolate eggs in here or jelly beans or you know for Halloween throw some candy in there there's so many possibilities with these old planters especially if they are this style they're just plain white some people have some of the most creative ideas with vintage things and it mesmerizes me every time I hear so and so say oh I'm gonna use this for display or I'm gonna put my such and such in there I'm always amazed at some of the things I hear so Hopefully, she will have been sold and had a new home by the time you see this video. Now, this piece I picked up at the vendor mall. It's one of those pencil toppers advertising 7-Up. I did pay, I think it was $3.60, which I don't mind because this is from a vendor that all pretty much has good prices on their things. And something like this I haven't seen in quite a while, so I went ahead and just said, what the heck, let me go ahead and grab it, because I think it is just super cool. And that is a junk jar item, by the way. 
These also came from that same vendor. I paid $5.40 for them. It's a pair of silhouettes, probably some dancers, maybe in Mexico or something along those lines. They definitely are giving me Hispanic vibes, like a mariachi or like Argentina, something like that, where they do the tango. And here's the other one. I should have just held them like this. It's, I guess you could call that bubbled glass. And this is what the back looks like. And I just thought they were super, super fun. Maybe I'll keep them for myself. Don't know yet. It depends on how much they're worth. This I didn't pick up for resale. I know that D from the Thrill of the Thrift likes these. It's that Avon um, almost teapot pitcher. It originally held lilac foaming bath oil. So I have a couple of things that I need to send to her and yeah. Probably shouldn't have included it in this video because I don't like to normally share. Actually, I take that back. I've shared what I'm giving to people, but I probably shouldn't do that anymore. So in case they watch the video, they know what they're getting. Sometimes I like things to be a surprise. But yeah, I picked that up and I think that was only a buck fifty. Or no, I think it was 75 cents because housewares were half off that day. I picked these up and I thought they were really interesting. I'm going to pick up the camera real quick so you guys can see them. They're, I assume, beer bottles, but they remind me kind of of lava lamps. Like, this is the base right here, and then this is where the uh, the top of the lamp would be with the lava in it. Paid a buck a piece for those. I don't know that they're anything special. I just like the shape of them. Let's see if I can focus on what it says on the bottom here. It says, Reg US Pad Off, and then there's this mark on the bottom here. Whoops. And I don't know what that marking is. But it's interesting nonetheless. Never seen bottles like that before. I highly doubt they hold any value, but I just thought that they were cool. I was beyond thrilled to see this beauty at the thrift store. It was $1.50. It's a really nice apple green Moon and Stars by Ellie Smith fairy lamp. Now, to some people, this might look like avocado, and I personally do not think this is avocado green. This is more of a brighter green, not lime green, but like an apple green. I don't think it's avocado, because it it's too light to be avocado green. What do you all think? I definitely don't see avocado green in this, because if I did, I would sell it immediately. But Misty has made these things the greatest thing since sliced bread for the time being, so... Anytime I see these, I will pick them up because I'm kind of starting to like them. And when I can see them, or when I see them cheap, I will pick them up. Certain colors, like other colors I like more than others, but this one is going to be for my collection. So I've got a couple other ones that I think you all will really like. And we'll hopefully see in an upcoming sale. Or would have seen and already been sold at a sale I just had. I'm talking like uh, this is going to be taking place in the future. It's going to be in the past by the time you see this video. So I found these at a vendor mall and I thought that they were really really neat. They are Fenton Satin Glass Praying Children. These will already have been sold by the time you have seen them and I just think that they are really really nice. I did pay eight dollars for the set of them I'm going to try to clean them up, of course. Hopefully they'll be a lot cleaner by the time they come on the sale, or they're clean by the time I share them at a sale. So, yeah. Before I show you my last two items, let me show you what they look like all lit up, because they do glow. Look at that. Isn't that just fantastic? They glow really, really nicely, and they would look so great at Christmas time. I know it's a little late to be showing Halloween, but again, since I was really far behind, I didn't get a chance to share this at the time of Halloween coming up. So I did find this really nice piece of uh, old Halloween. It's not old, old. It's probably from the 60s. Um, it does have the Beastle Company 
up there. I do have an older one of these, and it says HE Lures on it. So that one is pre Beastle Company. And it's got Alex's name on it. It was only $3. I couldn't leave it behind for that. I mean, could you? And this is what the back looks like. It is white. So it is a little bit later, but not too late because it's still embossed. So that's really cool. And the last thing we're going to be looking at is a bag of doilies that I did pick up from Finders Keepers. It was $5. Let's go ahead and check out what's in here. So I've got this really nice round one with, it looks like hearts on it. I don't see any stains on it, which is really, really nice. And I know that's a plus for any of you that like vintage doilies. So we've got that one. And it looks like I've got a set. These almost could be coasters, I bet you. And I think there are four of them. So I got the set of those. So that'll probably be sold off as one because it's a set and they match. We've got this one. This one kind of reminds me of Comfy Cozy Living because it's kind of got like a boho look to it with the flowers on it. So I'll definitely be selling that one. Then, you know, I will buy things that I don't necessarily like, but I know you all do. I go for what I'm attracted to. And this is the last one. So I think five bucks was pretty fair for all that, because I know I can definitely make some money off of that. So that is everything that I have for you all in this haul. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite item that I picked up? Yes, as you can see from the caption beforehand, I did lie. I did have one more box, small box of items that I picked up from another vendor mall. And then I'm finally caught up. It feels so good to be caught up with everything. So the very first item we're going to be looking at is this console bowl. It's etched. It's got flowers on it. I did pay $6 for it. And the reason that I bought this was because I know that if I can find a pink flower frog, a figural flower frog, to go in this, I know I can make some pretty good money. So that's why I went ahead and picked up the console bowl. So I thought that was a really good pickup for $6. Now to just find a figural flower frog on the cheap. For $10, I did pick up a set of four of these tiki mugs or cups. They are marked PMP. Let me get up closer for you all. PMP Japan. I will be selling them off as a set on eBay. I'm probably going to end up listing them for maybe 40 or 50 bucks and see where they go from there because I did pay 10. So I think that these are pretty darn cool. Isn't this really cute? I thought so, and when I saw it, I couldn't resist it. It's from 1973. It's an Emerson Products toy. And I believe it's a child's gardening set. So if a kid wanted to pot some marigolds or something like that, and they needed the small tools, here you go. Like I said, it was $3.99. On the back, it does say copyright. Oh, it's Emson, Inc., 1973, made in Hong Kong. Whether this goes on eBay or whether I put it in a live sale is to be determined. But I think this would look great in a spring vignette. found what I believe to be a Royal Copley teddy bear planter. There's no markings to say who made it, but I would definitely assume, just judging by that glaze work, that that is Copley. He was only $3. Couldn't leave him behind. Ooh, for $5, I picked up an owl perched on a tree branch. And there's no markings on him to say when he was made, but he will definitely be up for sale at a future live sale. Definitely 1970s brass, I would say. Either he'll be at a live sale or I'll list him on eBay, one of the two. I'll do some research on it first, and if it doesn't come up for a whole lot, to a live sale it goes. Found this really cute planter. Or at least I assume it's a planter. Looks like it's a boy just um, perched over the pot. 
Small Planter with Boy on top, 350. No markings to say who made it. I would assume this is probably a Japanese piece. No, like I said, no markings, but it's older. So that'll definitely be up for sale at a future live sale. Now this I just grabbed because I thought it was interesting. It's yellow glass and it's got painted flowers on it. It was only $4, as you can see by the price on there. I don't know if it was hand blown or not. I don't think it is because it's frosted and cloudy on the bottom. Don't know who made it. Um, if you all happen to know, let me know in the comments below. But I just thought it was a really neat piece. I don't know if it's Fenton or what. But either way, it's still a really nice piece of glass. And the last item, and yes, I promise this is the last item before we conclude this video, is this really awesome Liberty magazine. The graphics on the inside are not all that great. It's mostly just like news and just like stories, or news stories is what I should have said. So there's not like a ton of great advertising in here, but I'm really digging that front cover with the 30s bathing beauties on it. And you can tell that just judging by the look of that guy's face, he's truly having a good time. Well, if that's his wife, she's like, you can't be serious. What are you doing staring at those young girls? You've got me. That just goes to show you that men haven't really changed all that often. Doesn't matter how old we get, we still like pretty young girls. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. All of the links to my social media accounts via Instagram are down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.